Hey guys and welcome to the Jill Garage. My name is Nico and I wanted to make car detailing videos for quite some time. My friend told me not to go too crazy on her car as it is, I quote, a rust box and four wheels. Well, this one is a fairly quick interior detail. It was a thorough clean and she was very happy with the results and I wasn't ashamed to return the car either. Before getting started on the car, she picked me up and we went to get her motorcycle so she could try while I had the car. I actually got to keep it overnight, so I wasn't in a hurry to finish the detail. I started by removing all the loose objects in the car. There was a lot of road trip items like plastic bottles and candy bars. And this car was very special for the amount of stuff you can find under a car seat. Here I'm going through the door pockets, removing all the items she doesn't need. And she was very prepared for the winter with the snow brush and the interior heater. But we didn't need those in June, so I'm gonna take them into the back. And removing the rubber mats as I go around the car. And all the personal items I usually put in a bag and put it in the trunk, which is pretty standard for detailing. Here I'm cleaning all the stuff I threw on the floor and the driver's side door pockets. and removing the rubber mat from the driver's side too. And what I mentioned about the stuff under the seats, it was very nice. I didn't get hungry or thirsty during the operation because everything was sorted out. There was food and drinks. And the most disgusting find was these dashboard wipes. Don't use them, please, for the love of... And here I'm starting to vacuum the trunk. There was a lot of fur, dirt, rocks, everything. A lot of oil spots and stains, but I didn't have to remove any of those, and right now I wouldn't have had the means to. Here I'm agitating the dirt and the fur with this rubber brush, and it was really handy in order to get rid of all those stubborn, stuck little pieces of dirt. And here I'm vacuuming the back seats. Well, the lack of back seats, it's a van. With this car I didn't have to be as delicate, but I did try to avoid any scratches. Normally I would use a brush tape for the vacuum, but here it didn't matter that much. It's actually quite relaxing to watch this while drinking coffee and just narrate what I did a week ago. <laughs> Hope you guys like these videos too. Here I'm going through under the seats and vacuuming all the floors from the back too. And the driver's side footwell. under the seat and the passenger side here I'm agitating the dirt from the nooks and crannies with a brush and catching them with the vacuum going through the crevices on the seats with the vacuum and cleaning the mirror and the windshield. Here I'm going through the vents with the interior detailing brush and I used Autoclimpse interior shampoo for all the plastic surfaces in the car. 
And the surface of the dash was really tricky because it had these little dots that just sucked in all of the dirt and it was really stubborn to get out of there. But the end result turned out pretty good. Here I'm wiping through the steering wheel, always clean the wheel, it's always very dirty. And there was some energy drink stains on the sun visors and the roof lining, so I tried to fade out that stain so it's not as visible. There were a lot of stains on the seats too. I tried to go through them with the brush, but it didn't really get them out properly. I want to get a wet vacuum and then just suck all the dirt out of there, but it's on the bucket list of things I need to buy for detailing. I already spent like 400 euros <laughs> on detailing stuff, so that'll have to wait. Here I'm going around the plastic surface with the microfiber towel and using the brush for the trickier spots. Cleaning the windows too, always clean the windows, inside and out, even though you're doing an interior detail. That makes a huge difference in making the car look cleaner from the inside too. Here I'm going through the driver's side door card and wiping it with the interior shampoo. I also finished the car later with some autoclum vinyl and rubber care to protect the surfaces and make them anti-static so dust doesn't stick as well. Here I'm going through all the lower dash panels and the shifter and these compartments were really dirty they were nasty i wish i had gloves here too but i ripped them here i'm helping with the brush to get all the stubborn dirt out of the corners and the brush is super handy it cost me like four euros so it's not too bad I decided I was going to continue the car the next morning because I wasn't in a hurry it was already midnight here and I still had the rubber mats to do, so I decided to drive home. I borrowed my parents' garage for this project and decided to continue it in my parking spot at home the next day. I used some dish soap to go through the carpets, rub them with a brush and try to get all the dirt out. After they were dry, I installed them in the car and here we have some before and after shots, all the surfaces have a nice matte finish to them. They are protected and don't get dust as easily. I sold all of my friend's personal items so the car looks cleaner. She is very angry and wants her stuff back. We don't talk anymore. But in the next video, we're gonna take a look at my friend's girlfriend's mother's Toyota Corolla from 1989. My friend is going to buy it and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> There's gonna be a showcase talking about the car, showing all of its quirks and it's a very low mileage car. There's also gonna be a detailing video on that one. But thank you for watching, I hope you like the video, I really like doing this car and see you on the next one.